In Surah Al-Buruj, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us many stories. One of these stories that we are told, it is the story of Fir'aun and Thamud. You might be wondering why is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bringing a story that is so different from the main story of this surah. The main story of this surah, it is about the boy and the king, Ashab al-Ukhdud, the people of the ditch, and how the believers in that story do not attain victory in this life, but they are given the ultimate victory in the hereafter. But if you look at the story of Fir'aun and Thamud, the believers are given the first victory, which is the victory of this world. They actually attain victory in this life. Why is this story being brought, especially at a place like this? In many other places inside of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about Thamud and Fir'aun and what actually happens to them without a story that proceeds of the believers not getting the victory that they want or not getting the victory that you and I want for them. And this is really for the companions of the Prophet sallallahu and the believers to understand one thing. Even though ultimate victory has been promised for the believers, sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings that victory in this life. And when that victory is brought, it doesn't matter what the other side has. If you look at the story of Fir'aun, especially at the moment that he is destroyed, I want you to think about this for a second. Fir'aun has all of the army. He has the chariots that have the horses. He has soldiers. He has an army. And they are running after Bani Israel, a people that have not taken anything with them except things that they can carry. And where does he actually face them? He meets them right at the sea. And Musa and the people that are with him are, begin to say, we are going to be destroyed. There's no escape for us. And you know, when you look at the situation of the believers today in the world, this is what it seems like. It seems as if they, we don't know where victory is going to come from. We don't know how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to grant them victory. When every single thing seems to be against them, they don't have the armies. They don't have the power. They don't have the tanks. They don't have you know, the advanced weaponry. They don't have support from the superpowers and so on. And we think, where is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala going to bring victory from? And in that moment or in this moment of ours, we are like those companions of Musa that said to him, Inna la mudrakun, we are actually going to drown because we can't let Fir'aun take us back. So when we look at the situation of the Muslims, they're just like the companions of Musa that didn't have anything and they said we are going to drown because we can't let Fir'aun take us. There's no way that we let Fir'aun take us because we know what he's going to do to us. And what does Musa alayhi salam say? And this is really the purpose of this story being brought here in this surah. It is for the believers to understand that if Allah gives you victory in this life, it does not matter what you have. It does not matter if you have the strongest military, if you have the tanks, if you have the armies. This is not how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants victory to the believers. As we see even throughout the life of the Prophet sallallahu and the various battles that he participates in, there is never a battle in which they have the upper hand in terms of equipment, in terms of the people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gives them victory. And once that, once that victory comes, there's no one that's going to be able to stop it. So Fir'aun with his entire army running after this few group of people, He's unable to capture them, but it is actually his destruction that comes at their hands. When Musa alayhi salam is told to strike the sea and it parts and they pass through, Fir'aun, he says, our army is going to be able to get through. We are going to go and capture them. So he decides to go after them and then he's destroyed. And this is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings this story for the companions to understand that sometimes they might have to be like the boy in the king and where the believers are only given victory in the hereafter. But other times, they might be like the believers that were against Fir'aun, that were against the people of Thamud. And they become victorious not only in the hereafter, but also in this life. And this is the beauty of this story being brought here. That for you to always be hopeful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants you the victory of this life and also the one of the hereafter. And if this is what a believer always, always wants, he wants to be victorious in this life and in the hereafter. But he understands that the greatest victory is the one that comes on the Day of Judgment. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.